guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm showing you how to make a full ball dress from start to finish so i'm using the length 20 the half length of 9 and the waist of 20. so the first thing i'll be doing is to cut out my net and to do that i'll subtract my half length measurement from my length measurement so that's 20 minus 9 gives me 11 so this is the length I'm working with so I'll add one inch to the length one inch so in allowance to this length to give me 12 so I'm cutting out 12 inches in eight layers so I have my length in two so I'll try to measure my 12 inches So this is my eight layers of net and I want to join it together as one single piece. Next thing I was doing is to cut my door face. So I've got my door face in 360 degree Then I need for this measurement, I want 3 inches to my waist measurement. This 3 inches is 1.5 inch of zip allowance on both sides, making 3 inches. So I've got my 360 degree flare. What I'll do is that this 23 I'll divide it by 6.28 and it's going to give me um, 3.6. So it's this 3.6 that I'll use as the radius to cut my 360 degree flare. The length that I'm using to cut my door face, I'll subtract 2 inches from this to give me 10 so i'm using 10 to cut 10 inches length to my door face and this is because i don't want the door face to be showing coming out the, i'm under the net so i just approximate this to 4 4 plus 10 that is 14 so i'm folding my door face in 14 inches length in 4 places like so so this is my door face. I folded it this way into, into two like this. The length of 14, but I added extra. The next thing I'll do is I'll fold it this way as well. So after that, I'll mark my 10 inches. So to get the length of our body, like well, I just need to add this seven or approximately eight, eight plus ten. This ten inches. Remember that I will subtract two inches from the, from the length of my net plus ten. I fold my lining like so, measure the length needed, and cut out the flare. I'm drafting my basic bodice block. I know this process is not clear to you. 
I have a video on how to draft a basic bodice block. Do you want to check it out? I'm adding half inch allowance to the neck and armhole, one and a half inch to the side, and three quarter inch to the lower part. I will cut my front on fold and I'll cut one piece. Using my pattern, I cut out my bodies on the face and I also cut out this lace which I attach to the doll face like so. So here is my body and my lining and this is my back. I did the same thing, I added necklace to the back as well. So if this process of how to attach necklace to a ball dress is not clear to you, you can check out my video on how to attach lace to a ball dress. After joining, I'll get the midpoint of my net and notch like so. After which, I will go to the edge and start my gathers. I'll leave one and a half inches for zip allowance before I start my gathers. When I get to the midpoint, I'll just take my tape roll to check if I've gotten to half of my waist measurement. Only one and a half inches for zip allowance at the end of the net. I also sew the net together at the edge to keep it in place. So here is my gathered net. And that's my waist measurement. So I also attach it to my doll face. This is my front, and this is my back. So the first thing I'll do is to join the front and the back by the shoulder. I'll join this with half inch swing allowance. If you like, you can scale the pin. I will sew the front and back by the shoulder, do the same thing for the second side and also do the same thing for my lining. So after doing this, I'll place the front and back on top of each other. Meanwhile, I'll open the shoulder. I'll open the shoulder here so and I own it. I'll stop at one and a half inches for zip allowance. I'll do the same thing. One and a half inch zip allowance. And I'll sew for that shroud. I'll carefully notch the neck and arm all. So I'll start with 
themselves. They don't indulge very gently. This is what my dress looks like after turning it out. I'll top stitch the neck. So after ironing, the next thing is to shape. I'm, shape. I'm holding the body separately, the lining separately. If you have watched this video to this point, do all to like this video. This is to encourage me to put out more quality content. My waist measurements and both measurements is 20. 20 divided by 4, that's 5. So at the midpoint here. I measure 5. <laughs> shape the other side your dress should align as the armhole here is my upper bodies so I'll attach the lower parts of the dress to it and secure with pins then sew it straight down So it is advisable not to use invisible zip. This kind of original zip is better because it's very strong and it's not really easily wear off. So I'll put my zip this way. Remember that I left one and a half inches for zip allowance. So on that one and a half inch line, this is my zip. This this point will come down a little. And I'll move my feet. Also, you have to put to be sure that it's on the one and a half inch line. And my zip, I open this joining. I open it. The joining of the upper part and this, and this lower part, I open it. From this waistline, I measure about five or six inches. From this waistline, so you are using six inches. I mark it so much. At that point, I also mark one and a half inch, so I can know where my zip. This is 
so I'll try to mark this point on this other side so that the zipper I can get the same line and also this point on the Then this point I reference I'll use it so Your zip should align at the waistline. Guys, if you have watched this video to this very point and you are yet to like this video, kindly do well to take a second to like this video so that you can keep on getting more quality videos and tutorials. Also do well to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell. Thank you. I also like to give my zip a neat finishing so what I'll do is that I'll take the lining like so and make sure that it aligns at the waistline with the body I'll open up the zip the joining at the waistline and align it to the that of the body then I'll secure with pins I also my zip for the lining very close to the initial sewing I did for the body. I did finish on this like this leg. I just close it up. I love great feedbacks so do want to share your sewing project with me by tagging me on instagram at lions underscore kids what i have left is my net and i need to finish it up as well so what i'll do is that i'll take both sides of the net and hold it together like so i'll secure with pins so that it doesn't shake and i also mark my one and a half inches zip allowance and I will sew it on the one and a half inches line. I will finish up my door face as well and I will mark one and a half inches zip allowance and sew it on that one and a half inches line. If you are yet to like this video I like you to take a second and hit on the like button. Give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do well to share this video with everyone struggling to make a beautiful ball dress. Do not forget to like this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.